Hey guys, it's Rob RMD, and today we're going to talk about how to prevent patients from bleeding to death during routine angiography. So what do I have here? I have sagittal images of a CT angiogram, and this is at the level of the femoral head, the iliac bone here, basically at the level of the groin. And so that's a sagittal MIP image. Now what a MIP image means, and I don't want to get into a long discussion on this, but the short story is that a MIP allows you to follow a vessel for a reasonable course. So rather than just being a single image, a slice, this is actually, it shows vessels kind of as they course through the body. So for example here, I see this long slender vessel here. This is the SFA, and as you follow it, cephalad, it combines with the DFA, the profunda femoris here, which is posteriorly here. And as they come together, they form the common femoral artery at the level of the femoral head. Another important landmark is this vessel here. You can see this small vessel coursing anteriorly and uh, cephalad towards the head, and that is the inferior epigastric artery. So below this level, we have the CFA. Kind of from here to here, we have the common femoral artery. Again, common because it splits into the SFA and the profunda femoris, and importantly, this is right at the level of the femoral head. So this is the ideal spot for access for femoral angiography. The way you prevent patients from bleeding to death is very simple. You access the common femoral artery at the level of the femoral head. And you do that every single time, and you confirm that every single time with imaging, either with fluoroscopy or with ultrasound or a combination. You can even do techniques where you use your fingers to make sure that you have control of the site. You want to make sure that you have control of the site because at the end of the case, you're going to want to be able to compress the site to prevent the formation of a hematoma and to allow that artery to heal. Uh, what happens early on, you know, in an inexperienced person, is that you're so, you know, desperate, for lack of a better word, you're so desperate to get into the vessel. Uh, you start accessing the vessel, you place your needle here, and as you're angling it up, you sort of lose sight of it with the ultrasound. You basically keep advancing your needle, keep advancing your needle, and you may end up actually accessing the vessel up here, above this vessel we talked about, the inferior epigastric you might end up accessing the vessel and actually the needle enters somewhere around here. Now that may not seem like a big deal, but it really is a big deal. What ends up happening is you access the vessel up here. You may not confirm this with fluoroscopy. You're just so, again, desperate to get in the vessel. You feel so lucky to have access to the blood vessel. You see the blood squirting out of the needle. Uh, you advance your wire and then uh, one concerning thing you may do is that you actually advance the sheath into that site. So when you advance a sheath, which is a five, typically a five French vascular sheath, about a little over two millimeters in size, when you advance that above the level of the common femoral artery, you're actually now in the external iliac artery. This is actually a structure which courses in the retroperitoneal space. And as you can see, depending on where you access it, if you're up here at this level, there is almost no way for you to, um, to really control the site, to really provide adequate compression. You'll be pressing here on the belly, and you'll have abdominal contents in your way as you try to compress this vessel against a bony structure, of which there's really not much back here. Contrast this segment of the vessel, the external iliac artery, to this segment of the vessel, the common femoral artery at the level of the femoral head. And again, that's where you want to be 100% certain that you've accessed the vessel. Again, know your anatomy really well. Uh, don't be desperate when you're early on, when you're inexperienced. Recognize your inexperience. Um, always be 100% certain that you access the vessel right at the level of the CFA, at the level of the femoral head. Make sure you have adequate uh, compressibility, and you should be able to prevent this uh, life-threatening complication from ever happening to you or anyone you know. Hope you guys enjoyed the explanation. Um, please give this video a like if you like it, or uh, feel free to drop a comment if you'd like to. Once again, I'm Sirav RMD, Diagnostic and Radiologist. Take care.